Oh, you want TikTok? Uh, no, at all? I want. I want to. I want to try it. Yeah, I want to try it. It's just uh, I haven't found the time for it yet. Cause it's it's fascinating, and I was just talking to somebody yesterday about how TikTok is like changing the music industry. Man, it's so fascinating. Mm -hmm. Like all of these tracks. Okay, really interesting question for you as a producer. Who I, I want to compliment you and say that your your production's top notch, man. It, like it's Thank high you. quality. Like you did, you it, like you're not some bedroom producer. You know, like it actually really sounds like professional. So compliments on that. So with that being said, do you, did like what are your thoughts? And this is not a bash on 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 TikTok music or anything. I'm curious your opinion on TikTok music. You know, like some of these bedroom producers that kind of just randomly get a hit. You know what I mean? Like this random song that just pops off from some. I'm curious on your production uh, opinion on that. Do you think like production matters? Does production not matter? You know what I mean? No, I I love it. It's like there is something. I don't know is the word charming but there's something like really nice about it being amateur and it's yeah. just there's so much imperfection that just gives it so much character no it's i really so like all that stuff yeah yeah I, I like there's you. a place for like the professional stuff and then there's a place for like the the more mm. amateur like bedroom vibe it's 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 like an atmosphere almost it's really nice it is and i feel like the tiktok's perfect for that because like people are literally filming no filter kind of thing like it's not it's different than instagram like which is the perfect world oh look at instagram mm -hmm. you know what i mean like tiktok's like hey man like i have a double chin in this video but i think this this, this is funny you know what i mean so yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's amazing and so for somebody that that would say say you somebody had a massive hit on tiktok but like how would you how if you had a massive hit on tiktok it's blowing up right now you know hundreds of millions of streams your fir first song or second song out there like a lot of people end up happening what would you personally do to continue that like success? Because what I feel like what ha ends up happening is so many of these guys pop off, but then they don't mm. go anywhere. You know what I mean? And it's it's like just because I don't know if they don't know how to, how to handle success or they, it was thrown into the fire too quickly or what. But like, what would your your next step be? Okay, I have a hundred million streams on 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 Spotify right now because my song popped off. What would you yeah. do next? Me like this is Simon Servita had a yeah no yeah thing? you you. Yeah. I would focus on making like the best YouTube video on how I produce the number one song and make okay. it like almost like a 30 minute documentary because mm. that's when I can make like a real fan, not just like, oh yeah, I like a song, whatever. No, I'll make a real, real fan. And then obviously it's not going to get as many views as the song, but just kind of strengthening like a stronger core fan base and then mm -hmm. just going to the next one. Mm-hmm.